for the barbers that be coming. Be gentle when you work with the customer. Don't put your hand on top of the head. Some people do that. Let customer relax in the chair. So it's, you know, those small details, it's very important in our job. It's not just a haircut. It's, my teacher used to tell me, it's important how you put the cape on the customer. So those foundations starts from the beginning. It's just an advice. True. Sure. Go to some places they grab your head and they tilt your head and they tilt it. No good. Yeah. And I also said in one of the videos, guys, when customers tell you what to do, there's two things important in our job. Is to understand what the customer wants and to remember how he liked it. So the next time he comes in, you give him not only the same service but the same haircut. So it's also advice for beginners. So what are we doing? 0. 0.75 maybe, like a shadow if you want, or yeah. one? One more of a shadow. 0. 0.75, I know. Also, one of the important things, sterilize your tools. Because at NYC Barbershop Museum, guys, some of you are gonna hate it. Each time customer comes in, we use individual comb and we give it to go. So the customer knows that we don't use the comb again and it's biodegradable.
we always say guys, and some of you know, some of you don't know, that the skin is the biggest organ in a human's body. So it's very important how to take care of the skin, uh, especially winter time because in New York it gets chilly. So take care of your skin too. Vitamin E, D oil. I'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Armando Petrocelli in 1999 for listening to me and do individual blades for each customer because before that guys we used to use it up to 10-15 customers on each neck and it wasn't right so thank you Armando For some reason I have tears in my eyes right now for remembering the immigration. You know, we came from former Soviet Union and everything is different. We had no tools like that. I mean, I was 14 years old at the time. My father was a barber. When he saw that, he goes like, oh my God, it's so convenient. So, it's, it's a long road. Times have changed. It's a long road and, you know, we blessed that we're here. You can go on a date tonight. Oh, yeah, I don't know if my wife's gonna like that one. But, uh... Take her? <laughs> What's the problem? I take my wife on a date every day. You're a good man. <laughs> Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you my friend.